All right, I'm, now I'm going to show you my favorite combo, the Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal Combos. Um, Isochron Scepter is a two-cost artifact with imprint, which when it enters, you can exile an instant with CMC two or less from your hand, and then you can pay two and tap it to copy the card and then cast the copy. The cast part is important. Uh, dramatic Reversal is a two-cost instant that untaps all non-land permanents. So the first and most basic combo with this is you tap this to activate while you float all this other mana. And then you cast the copy, the copy resolves, and you untap it all and do it again. You have infinite mana. That one's pretty straightforward. Now, if you have a Eighth of Flux Reservoir, which is a four cost artifact that whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you cast this turn, and you can pay 50 life to deal 50 damage to target creature or player. So, since you're casting the copy, that triggers this ability, and you're gaining infinite life and then you can just pay 50 to kill each person at the table. Another option is Blind Obedience, which the important part is it has Extort. Whenever you cast a spell, you may pay black or white. If you do, each opponent loses one life and you gain that much life. So each time you cast the copy, you pay for the Extort and you kill the whole table. Another one is Sensei's Divining Top. And it has tap, draw a card, then put Sensei's Divining Top on top of its owner's library. So what you're gonna do is activate that ability and in response, Cast a copy of Dramatic Reversal, let that resolve, and then do it again. And repeat that loop until you've done it enough times to draw your whole library or however far down you want to go. Okay. Now, we're going to look at Copy Artifact. Two mana enchantment that uh, enters as a copy of the artifact in play. We're going to choose Isochron Scepter. So we get to imprint another spell. In this case, it's going to be Lightning Bolt. So basically, we activate Bolt, Bolt somebody. Activate for Dramatic Reversal, untap everything, do it again, uh, kill everybody with bolts. Now, there's another one, and this one's a little more complicated, it gets you, you use a uh, Swan Song, and with this combo we're going to create uh, infinite birds for us. And how this works is you're going to cast a spell, let's say Bolt. You're going to put a copy of Swan Song targeting the Bolt on the stack. You Dramatic Reversal. You let the Reversal resolve. And then you activate Swan Song again targeting your first swan song and you let that resolve leave bolt on the stack and uh, that's gets us our first bird and then you repeat that loop uh, infinite times and you can do this on a in step uh, because the birds don't have haste so it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good to do it on your turn but you can do it at an in step if you have a instant as your original spell you're putting on the stack or if your opponent casts a spell
Now, the last card I want to talk about that goes well with Ice Crown Scepter is Paradox Engine. So, Paradox Engine says whenever you cast a spell, untap all non land permanents you control. So, if this is the route we're going, we're not going to want to imprint Dramatic Reversal. Uh, we're going to want to, ideally, something like Bolt, where we just go infinite with that. But uh, a draw spell would be really nice. Just anything you put under here with Paradox Engine and something that makes two mana, you can do that as many times as you need to, because this is going to untap the Scepter. Now, this just barely scratches the surface of all the cards that combo with these. These are just some of the ones that I use. Uh, there's Captain Sisse, there's Arkham, there's Azami, there's plenty of other stuff.